Hey guys, Joe DeFranco here along with Mark DeGrasse at the new DeFranco's Gym at the Onnit Academy in Austin, Texas. And today we are talking about one of my favorite exercises, the box jump. It's important regardless of who you are to incorporate some dynamic exercises into your training. Whether you're an athlete or you're just a housewife or a weekend warrior, it's important to try to improve your athleticism and just to move and function better. So the box jump is a great way to teach people how to jump and land and we're going to go over the technique today so mark is going to come here and first thing we do is we'll have our client close their eyes and just kind of jump in the air about you don't have to kill yourself about 50 percent of your max height jump up in the air and land where you land is generally a good position for your feet to jump so we have his feet set you want to be about two feet behind the box whatever you're comfortable with but that's a good guideline to start and now the first thing we're going to talk about is the descent of the jump. Everybody wants to talk about the jump, but the rate at which you descend is highly responsible for how high you jump. The, the guys that I've trained for the NFL combine that jumped over 40 inches, 44 inch verticals, all were able to rapidly descend. The faster you could descend, the quicker and faster your muscles are going to contract and jump. So we're going to start with our hands a little bit above our head and we're going to throw them down. You're gonna get about a quarter bend of the knees and then he's gonna throw his arms up and we're gonna to try to clear the box enough that when he lands, he's just gonna land in a quarter squat position. All right, so Mark's gonna demonstrate. Perfect, and you notice he had a nice soft landing and then he's gonna step down. Don't have your athletes or clients jump back down. Everybody forgets that that's a lot of stress on your body if you just kind of randomly jump back down. So he's gonna jump up. We always give the cue, pretend like you're landing on a glass table. That's how you, how light you want to land. Stick the landing, hold for a second, and then step back down. Perfect. Now, one quick note I wanted to make. You see a lot of videos on YouTube. I post them myself of people doing 60 inch box jumps and these real high, impressive box jumps. That is great, and there's a time and a place for it, but in training, you'll notice this box is low enough that Mark's able to clear it and displace his body where it's a little more of a function of power and explosiveness rather than just a display of how mobile his hips are. So it's important to know why you're incorporating the box jump. Is it more for mobility or do you want to improve your power? If it's more for power and that triple extension, a little bit of a lower box clear it so you could land in the half squat position. So those are your tips for the box jump. Definitely start incorporating it into your training. And if you like this video, you could check out more like it at onitacademy.com.